1.38% profit in one hour. Let's get straight over to the charts and I'll show you how I did it. Please remember to hit subscribe and you'll get the notifications as and when I post new videos. Okay, let's get straight over to the charts. Hi again, welcome back. It's the 24th of February 2020. I just settled down to trade the London session. The time is 7.49 in London. And um, looking at some decent moves overnight throughout the Asian session, we've seen some really nice moves and um, looking to see if they continue into the London session. We're a little restricted for time today, so let's see how this goes and um, I might have, to, might have to finish up early. So um, I'm holding five trades at the moment. I'll quickly flick through the charts and I'll show you where I am right now. Euro US dollar, I took this at 16 as it came from an entry point on that last candle. And so looking for it to move down towards this zero zero, going for a first level on this, seeing if it can reach that. Euro Japanese yen took this on the last candle as price pulled up. We were seeing um, Japanese yen strength across the board, seemed to, well, it did ease a little bit, which gave us that pullback, allowing me to get in. And now we're seeing that coming back into play again, which is quite nice. Australian dollar, US dollar, took this short at, oh, by the way, the Euro Japanese yen, I took that at 70. Australian dollar, US dollar, took this at 97, a couple of candles back, and looking for a continuation of this downside move. Got my take profit down there at the 80 level. Australian dollar, Japanese yen, took this one at 62, again on a pullback, and looking for price to push through that 50 and down here to, I've got this set at 2 to 1, 12 pip stop loss on this, and I've set my take profit at 24 pips, giving me a 2 to 1 risk to reward. So I need that price to push down through that 50, down through the previous day's low and continue down just a little more to where I've got my take profit. And the fifth trade that I'm holding, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, took this a few candles back and that's at 0.9 I've got in on that, on that last candle. So now looking for price to push back down through this previous low, twice it's bounced off that previous day's low there. Looking for it to push through that, through the 0.0. zero. And again on this, I've got my take profit at 2 to 1, so I've got 20 pips as my take profit on this. Okay, that's where I am at the moment. Five trades being held. I'll pause the video for now, and I'll be back in a little while just to give you an update. See if this, um, this price action that we've seen overnight continues through and into the London Open. So we've got, what, 10 minutes before the London Open. So I'll be back in a little while towards the end of this candle, when this candle's closing, and I'll give you an update. So back with you, the time is now one minute past eight. London Open has happened and not seeing a great deal of change in this price action right now. I'll quickly flick, flick through these and show you what I mean. The Euro US dollar sitting around that uh, entry point. Euro Japanese yen showing a bit of profit, starting to move down. I'm hoping that we're seeing um, the Japanese yen strength coming into play that we've seen throughout the Asian session. So um, yeah, that's showing a little bit of profit at the moment. Australian dollar, US dollar, small amount of profit. Japanese yen, similar with that, and the New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Saw that pull back a little bit, but now that's coming back into profit again. Um, I've got a couple of orders placed on the Canadian dollar pairs, just trying to get in on one of those. Canadian dollar's been moving quite, quite nicely early on, so we're seeing Canadian dollar weakness. Oh, that order's taken. Okay, so let me just do a screenshot of that. Okay, and just log it in the journal. Long at 82. See where we are with this. Okay, I'm going to put this at 2 to 1 risk to reward at the moment. I'm going to put a 20 pip take profit on that. Just to see how this plays out for now. And Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, no, not quite pulling back into my order. Seeing that euro pulling back now. Okay, I'll pause the video for now. I'll be back in a little while to give you an update. Let you know how these trades play out. Back soon. Back with you again, it's 17 minutes past 8 and the Euro trade that I took, you can see this deep pullback here, completely t uh, changing our trade plan, give me a full stop, so I'm down 8 pips at the moment, lost 8 pips on that one trade, still holding the Euro Japanese yen, although we're seeing this pullback now, seeing strength coming in on the Euro pairs, the Australian dollar, US dollar, still holding that, a little bit of profit showing. Um, Australian dollar, Japanese yen. See this move down through this 50 level. Now we're seeing it start to pull back a little bit. US dollar, Canadian dollar, that last trade that I took. Just seeing price hovering around where I actually took that trade. 
and New Zealand dollar US dollar seen this come down a little bit into profit now that's pulling back as well so currently holding five trades and I'll pause the video for now and I'll be back with an update soon so back to show you this sixth trade that I've taken a US dollar Japanese yen took this as price has just come through an entry point seeing that Japanese yen strength coming back into play again now I've got this at 44 so I'll quickly flick through these trades that EJ I got stopped out of Sorry, EU I got stopped out of. EJ is moving down nicely on that Japanese yen strength. Australian dollar, Japanese yen moving down nice at UJ starting to go. Canadian dollar, I didn't quite catch that one. US dollar, Canadian dollar trade that I'm in, that's moving up nicely. And New Zealand dollar, US dollar is doing nothing at all. So I'm considering punching out. I'm limited for time today and I'm considering punching out for the profit I've got. What I'll do, I'll pause for now and... Um, I'll have a look at the figures and I'll come back to you and let you know either way. Okay, back with you. It's 8.36 London time and I'm out of all trades. Just punched out of everything and I've done okay. Reasonable profit in a very short period of time. So I'll flick over to the summary screen now and give you a roundup as to how this worked out and what I actually took. So here's a breakdown of the trades that I took today and the results that I got. While I think about it, I'll put down in the description a link to the Price Action Traders Institute membership. If you're interested in joining us or finding out more about the way that we trade, the link will be down there. So you can see the, the winning trades I've got here, 21, 10, 10, 7, and a break even on New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Losing trades, Euro, US dollar, 8 pips, and the US dollar, Japanese yen. That was one that didn't quite get out of the range that I needed it to, losing one pip, punched out for one pip. Giving me a total of plus 38 pips and that works out to 1.38% profit. And that was in one hour. I'd actually decided that I was going to be trading a short session. I had other things to do, but I finished much earlier than I thought I would do. Okay, I'll close this down now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video.